الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولاری وصحبی وسلم اما بیر حبت فلّہ A question was asked about making istinja, you know, purifying your private parts when you've used the restroom, ikramakum Allah. Uh, is it a something that is to use uh, ahjar, rocks? Is that only something, uh, istijmar, is that only something that you do when you have no water? So it's an excellent question, ahabatifillah. Uh, and we're going to try to deal with this in a short manner. But first, as is known that the asl of tahara or tahur is using ma, is using water. But let's look at some, or a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and hear what some of the fuqaha have to say. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, an Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam qal, إذا توضى أحدكم فليجل في أنفه ماء ثم لا يستنتر وما يستجمر فليوتر وإذا استيقظ أحدكم من نومه فليغسل يديه قبل أن يدخلهما في الإناء ثلاثا فإن أحدكم لا يدري أين باتت يده This is in uh, Bukhari and Muslim. Habati fi Allah, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in the hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى He said إذا توضى إذا توضى أحدكم If one of you uh, gets up and to make wudu, needs to make wudu. Then he should take water in his nose. Then he, then he should blow it out. And whoever makes istinjar, uh, istijmar, meaning to use the rocks, whoever uses rocks to you know clean themselves, then he should do it uh, in uh, with witter, with um, in odd numbers. And the odd numbers of habit of Allah meaning more than three. So not witter with one, but it should be a aqal witter uh, for istijmar is three. With thumila yasad, woman istijmar fil yuter. With the stake of the ahdakum min nomi. And if one of you wakes from sleeping, then wash his hands before he enters them. He places them in the in the washing utensil. For verily one of you doesn't know where his hands were. In this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as uh, some of the uh, scholars mention, uh, there are so many fu'ayid, but related to our our topic, we see that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If you make istijmar, he didn't say if you don't have water, then make istijmar. Okay, so what we're saying here is due to a lack of finding, uh, a lack of evidence to show that this is a ruksa, that this is only permissible when you have no water, then we say no, the Prophet Sallallahu made istijmar wa istinja. And the scholars, many of the scholars mention that the best with this is using a combination of the two. So using uh, water and using uh, istijmar. Well, likewise, and s s some of the scholars, they mention that, uh, that the tissue, for example, when you're using the restroom, because we don't have rocks in our buildings and it's not that common, it's not easy. When I'm out here, it's very easy. And this is a beautiful place because these are river rocks. So this is just like so beautiful and perfect if you had to go a karamakam Allah. But the best, as many of the scholars mention, is using water and stones. And so, and bedalin anhu, or niabitin anhu, also as a replacement for it is you can use tissue. For example, if we're in the building. Now I know some scholars and others, I don't know of any major scholars who hold this view, but they're perhaps, and perhaps it could be according to the madahib, I don't really know. But all I know is from where I've studied, and the scholars uh, who are predominantly probably Hanabila, and others is that whatever you you come al maqam al al hajr so whatever that is pure that also can take place uh take the place of the hajr so for example going into a place uh using the restroom at a rest stop or in your home or whatever and you use uh tissue or paper towels or anything that's pure that you could also use that
and use three, uh, you know, make it uh, with them. So you could use wet paper towels as many people do. So some of the scholars mentioned that that's the best. A gem, vena, vena huma, is to, to, to com combine the both, both. And this is my view. I have no, uh, I, I, and I don't know of any delil to, or, or any, anything that would contradict that. Imam Sa'di, he mentions, he mentions Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasiyah in his book, uh, Minhaj al-Salakin. He says, when he finishes, talking about the person who finishes using the restroom, he says, when he finishes relieving himself, he should, and he mentions two things, perform istijmar, so that means uh, using the stones, with three stones or any other similar matter that cleans the area. So that means using something else that cleans it. For example, Akramakamallah, I have done this many times when I'm hiking. If I don't have stones, then I use, maybe I have leaves only. I find some leaves or I find other things. Now let's look at the exception to that. So he says, with three stones or any other similar matter that cleans the area. So the point is that it should be uh, tohur, something that's that's pure. And then he says, second, perform istinja with water. Is making istinja with water. Then what he says, what does he say? He says, it is sufficient to restrict oneself to one of them only. However, istijmar is not to be performed with dung, meaning animal things. So if I find some bear scat or some uh, cougar scat or coyote scat or elk scat out here, I can't use that, which means they're boo-boo. <laughs> or bones, for example, if I find bones, I can't use bones. This is prohibited. We have a nus. Since the Prophet ﷺ forbade using them and anything that is given sanctity. So you can't use pages of the Quran or something which has holy or pages of hadith or some religious material or something like this. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. May Allah bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, with tawfiq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.